Have you ever heard about the trend meter indicator on TradingView? This indicator is absolutely fantastic as it combines many indicators like the MACD, RSI, moving average crossovers into one simple to use indicator to give amazing entry signals. A few years back I presented a strategy using this indicator on the main TradeSmart channel and got good results. But I was thinking that maybe I can get even better results if I coded and optimized the full strategy. So I decided to do exactly that. I went over to ChatGPT, coded the full strategy in a few hours, then I optimized it and after a day I came up with an optimization for the Bitcoin vs US dollar 30 minute chart. This optimization generated more than 500% net profit with a 26% drawdown using realistic fees. In this video I will explain the full strategy step by step, show you the backtest results and the strategy ranking spreadsheet. And the best part, I am sharing the full source code for free. Without wasting any time, let's get right into it. Ok, for this strategy first open up trading view and set up the BTCUSDT 30 minute chart. Once you got that, let's add our indicators. For this strategy we will only need 3 indicators. First of course the trend meter, add this one. Then we will use 2 EMAs, so type in EMA, add this one to your chart 2 times. And finally for or stop loss take profit the usual NNFX ATR. Add this one. Ok, now we have all of the indicators needed on the chart, but as I said, I optimized the strategy, so we need to change the settings. First of all, let's go over the trend meter in just a minute. So here we won't actually change any settings, it should be set on the default ones. This indicator has two trend meter options, you can see those here. And in each trend meter you can choose from different settings like MACD, Momentum, RSI and so on. I will use this MACD crossover for trend meter 1. This RSI for trend meter 2 and this RSI for trend meter 3. Besides that, you can see two lines on the trend meter down here. These lines are the trend bars. The first trend bar will be set at an MA crossover. The fast length is a 38, the slow length is 60, and both are EMAs. This indicator will turn green if the fast EMA is above the slow EMA, and it will be red if the opposite occurs. For trend bar 2, we will use a 40 for the fast MA and 30 for the slow MA. The fast MA will be an EMA and the slow MA will be an SMA. And again the MA crossover. In the style step I unticked these two boxes. With the two EMA we are going to use them as kind of a trend filter but rather a golden cross filter. What I mean by that? Well you can see the two EMA lines here. And if the fast moving one, which is this yellow line, goes above the slow moving one, this white line, then long entries are allowed. Whenever it is below it, only short entries are allowed, and so on. So for the fast moving one, make sure to set its length to 100 and I colored it yellow. For the slow moving one, set its length to 220 and I colored it white. And finally for stop loss and take profits, open up the NNFX ATR settings, change its X value which is its period to 125, the TP value which is the take profit multiplier to 9, and the SL value which is the stop loss multiplier to 5.5. In the style step, untick these boxes, then change the line styles to step line. This way it will be much easier to see where to put your stop losses and take profits. This will be our ATR take profit and this is our ATR stop loss. As this is a long only strategy, we will only use long take profits and long stop losses. Ok, all of the indicators are correctly set up, now let's go over the entry and exit rules. Ok, here we have our first valid long entry signal. For a valid long entry, the fast EMA, the yellow line, needs to be above the white slow moving EMA. Keep in mind that the price don't have to close above both of the EMAs, we only need to see that the fast EMA is above the slow EMA. Once you got that, you need to see a green dot right here, which means that all of the other trend meters are green, so all of them indicating a long entry. And you also need the trend bar lines, these two lines, to be green. What I mean by being green is that between the entry signal candle and the candle before the bars were green. So obviously this is a valid long entry signal, but for example this one wouldn't be a valid long entry as between the entry signal candle and the candle before this line was green but this line was red. Ok, all of the conditions are met here and we can enter at the close of the signal candle or at the open of the next candle. The stop loss will be placed at the lower NNFX ATR line around here and the take profit to the upper ATR line, right around here. 
and this trade was a winner and as you can see our script closed the position right there. Now we have another valid long entry right after that on this candle. Again the fast moving EMA is above the slow moving EMA. We get the green dot on the top on the trend meter which indicates that all the other dots are green and on the trend bar lines these two lines. The color of both of them between this candle and the candle before is green. So again all the conditions are met. Entry at the close of the signal candle or at the open of the next candle. Stop loss will be replaced at the lower NNFX ATR line and the take profit to the upper NNFX ATR line. And it is another successful trade, the take profit was hit right there. Okay, those are the rules for this strategy. As I said, this is a simple strategy, but how good it really is. Before showing you the backtest result, let me quickly show you the free script and tell you how you can get access to it. Okay, so the script will look something like this. You can choose the trade direction on the top. I limited it to longs only. Here you have your take profit and stop loss setups. And with this script, you can't modify every settings that the trend meter has. I left the three trend meter dots at the default settings. But if you want, you can modify the script, go over to ChatGPT and try implementing those. But you can change the trend bar settings. And at the bottom, the two EMAs, which I named Golden Cross Fast Length and Golden Cross Slow Length. And at the bottom, you have a risk management option if you want to try out a risk percentage based position sizing. So how you can get access to this script? To get access, just go down into the description or into the comment section. You will find there a Google Drive link from where you can download the full script for free. So open up that link, copy the full code, then come back to trading view, open up the pine editor, click on open, then new strategy, highlight everything here, paste the code, and finally click on add to chart. If you've done that correctly, you should see the script right here. And now let's see the backtest results. So for the backtest, I am using a $10,000 initial capital with a $12,000 order size, so 120%. And keep in mind I set the pyramiding to 10 as this script can enter into multiple trades even if there is currently an open one. This means that we can enter up to 10 trades but if we get another signal after the 10th trade that is not a valid entry signal. The commission is set to 0.1% on each entry and exit and the slippage is set to 2 ticks. Keep in mind we are on the BTCUSDT 30 minute chart but I think it's also profitable on the 1 hour. I use the usual backtesting range, the last four years of price data starting from the 1st of May 2020 and ending on the 1st of May 2024. Let's see the results. And just look at that. We have 509% net profit with 488 trades with a 52% win rate, a 1.8 profit factor and 26.57% maximum drawdown. Looking at the equity curve it is a bit strange because we had a huge pump at the beginning and after that it moves slightly upwards in zigzags. When I see an equity curve like this, I usually try adding one or two more indicators, for example a Chanda Momentum Oscillator with an EMA or the TDFI or an ADX, because these zigzag movements can easily be avoided. This time I will leave it that up to you, as this source code is free, you can modify it however you want, and if you do so and you find a good indicator that makes this strategy even better, feel free to share it with the community down in the comment section. After the big initial pump, we are gradually trending upwards, so I think this strategy has potential. For those who are interested, here is the performance summary tab. And just let's take a quick look how it performs after the optimization range. So I will change the date to today's date and the start date to 2024, the 1st of May. And yes, it is still profitable after the optimization date. However, this equity curve does not look that great as the one I showed you before. But the max drawdown is within my limits and the 20% net profit in around 5-6 months, I think that's pretty good. And now to close out the video, let's take a look on the strategy ranking spreadsheet and see where this strategy is placed among the around 30 strategies I think I have tested so far. And here is the strategy ranking spreadsheet and today's strategy, the trend meter plus golden cross filter strategy has took the 12th place out of the 28 strategies that have a rank. You can find this spreadsheet down in the description and in this spreadsheet I collect all the backtest data of all the strategies I have optimized. So here you can find the asset, the time frame, the settings, position sizing and so on. And at the end here are the backtest results and I will leave the YouTube link and the Google Drive link to download the script. And that wraps up today's video. If you like this one and want to see more, consider supporting the channel with a like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell. 
if you want to buy more complex open source strategy scripts that are highly profitable, or if you have a strategy idea and you need help with coding, check out my Patreon shop, link is in the description. If you want to see another highly profitable strategy, check out this video. Or if you want to learn how to code trading view strategies with ChatGPT, check out this video. As always, thank you all for watching, have an amazing day, and until next time, trade smart.